Hi everyone, welcome to ITLS Academy. I am Advocate Priyanka and today I am going to give an introduction to intellectual property rights. Here you can see that uh, I have written an interactive session with creative minds. So indeed it is. And why I am saying this, you will find after this presentation. So for this session, I have added few contents uh, or you can say few topics. So basically I will explain in this session about what is IP, that is intellectual property, then what is IPR, intellectual property rights, then types of IPR, and then how can we protect IPR intellectual property rights, and then legal framework for the protection of IPR, and at last, uh, obviously, when we are talking so much about the intellectual property and intellectual property rights, then everyone will be must uh, need to know of that why we are talking so much about this IP. So there must be some role or some value of IP. So at last, uh, we will see that also that what are the role of IPR or what is the value of IPR. So let us start. So before going to the intellectual property rights, we will discuss about IP, what is intellectual property. So you can see here uh, its name is suggesting only that IP is uh, made up of two words, intellectual and property. Now, first we will describe about the intellectual. I think everyone must know that what is intellectual. In our uh, day to day uh, say we that uh, oh your intellectual level is very good or mine is not good for that student's intellectual level was very good so that's why he has scored uh, so much marks or uh, he has always some new ideas so basically here we are talking about the intellectual in terms of idea so intellectual is basically the ability of mind of any person so uh, you can see that um, here intellectual is directly idea. What is in mind of any I, mind of any person comes. It can be anything. Just like uh, where electricity bulb was discovered, so it was the idea of Thomas Edison. First, it came in his mind that yes, something like this can be invented so he first uh, thought about this then he worked on this uh, on his idea so it was his intellectual if uh, we talk in uh, other fields like uh, literatures or anything else then you can see that uh, there are so many books uh, stories poems uh, uh, worldwide so when anyone writes a poem or any story it comes first in his mind like idea it comes that this story can be written or this plot can be uh, prepared for the making a movie so these are these are the basically idea of that particular person who is creating that thing or who is making that thing if we talk about other things just like uh, what we say in our day-to-day -day activities like we see some um, brands name you we can take like apple or puma so how it came it came from the idea of some person that yeah we can keep uh, this as a brand name apple or we can keep puma as a brand name so these are the basically idea of that person or that particular organization or company anything so it is their intellectual their ability of mind to think about that so this is called i think now you have understood that what is the intellectual now second word is property so when the word property comes obviously gas cars buildings like these are type of properties comes in our mind indeed this is all this is property but there is another property also so here we will see that what are the types of property and our intellectual comes in which type of property so first is tangible property 
for what I was talking like uh, you have two cars uh, or you have two buildings uh, or you have some jewelries anything so that is your intangible uh, that is your tangible property property that can be touched includes both your real property and personal property so you can say here that property that is in your hand is tangible property now we will talk about the intangible property this property is basically intellectual property so how we will describe this uh, intangible property so intangible property is uh, basically without a physical existence like i told that uh, tangible property is property in your hand and here you can say intangible property is property in your mind so if any idea is in your mind it's not the physical existence that means you can't touch it but obviously after executing on your idea you can get a product you can get a process you can make a film anything so but that is not your property your property basically starts from your idea so that is intangible property and intellectual property is the intangible property so to clear uh, more about the intangible property and tangible property uh, i have uh, explained it in uh, uh, some comparisons so you can see that uh, intellectual property have physical existence uh, obviously because it is in your hand or you can see that or uh, you can touch that but intangible property it doesn't have physical existence because obviously it is in your mind so in your mind has no any physical existence it is your idea which you will you execute later then cost of uh, tangible property can be easily determined so uh, let's assume you have a car which you bought for 10 lakhs now after six months you want to sell it so you will sell it in 9 lakh 9.5 lakhs or 8 lakhs or uh, if uh, who, some person who is expert in marketing even he can sell it in 10 or 10.5 lakhs so approximately you can determine that how much it cost will be plus 10 plus 1 10 minus 1 10 minus 1 2 or 10 plus 2 like this but when you have something idea in your mind just like uh, for example you have idea in your mind that uh, you can uh, make a product which will be or you can make a medicine which will be helpful for the migraine persons but because it is in your mind it is in idea it will be very harder to determine the cost when you will prepare it when you will execute it then also you will have to take uh, advices from uh, experts or you will have to search the market and then at last you will be able to determine that what will be the cost of your idea now for tangible property it is easier to liquidate obviously when uh, you have uh, just like i told uh, when you have uh, some car you will go to the market you will sell it and you will easily get back the money but for intangible property it is much harder to liquidate that means uh, if you have some idea you can't go to the market directly and you can tell them yeah, yeah i have this idea and i want to sell this so it's not feasible so it will be much harder to liquidate your idea that is your intangible property now tangible property can give sufficient exchange value so just like for your car uh, you can get a sufficient if you bought in 10 you can get 9 or you can get 8 or you can get 9.5 anything but for uh, exchange value of idea it is harder to determine harder to liquidate but it is much more than your tangible property like if you prepared one medicine for migraine with your idea and if it works 
it will have i can say 100% that you will get uh, much more than how much you have spent on it to making that product and how so obviously it is harder to determine but it has a very great economical value so now i think uh, it is clear about what is intellectual and what is property so if we combine this then we can say that intellectual property are the tangible properties which refers uh, sorry intellectual property are the intangible properties which refers to the creation of minds such as inventions design literature works logo marks and thing so um, got it it's uh, clear that what is the intellectual property now if you have anything or you have uh, uh, like uh, um, any property or uh, any work that will always follow a proper stage proper chain so that just like uh, for just a lay in layman example you can say if you are making a recipe for first what will you do you will go and buy fresh vegetables from the market then you will chop them and then you will cook them so that will be the basically stages or you can say activity chain of making that recipe just like that here we have intellectual property activity chain that is basically from the emergence of your idea to the protection of the same so ip activity chain basically includes first creation of your idea so any idea that is coming in your mind that is the creation after that you will have to say innovation that your mind idea is new or not or innovative or not or that idea is already in the market so after uh, when you are clear on this stage also you will go to the next stage that is commercialization so you will see that uh, if you have some idea how much commercial value in the market or or is it or is it no right so you will see the commercialization commercial value of that product if it is there then you will go to the next stage but if it is not there you will not go to the further so then it is the protection obviously when you have some property like uh, you have some uh, you bought some car from any from second hand car from any other owner or you buy it bought uh, uh, it from direct from the dealer you will what will you do you will go the registration for that so basically you want to protect your ownership on that car so here also if you have created something and you have seen that all these stages all uh, already your idea is fulfilling all these stage, stages so then you will go for the protection of your idea and after getting of your protection you will your idea will come in the enforcement i mean you can uh, use your idea you can sell your idea you can transfer your idea like this type of things now we will uh, go to the intellectual property rights so here in this session i will give you a very short introduction of everything about the ipr so first we will start from the basically what is ipr as uh, discussed in earlier slides i think it must be clear that what is intellectual property so as its name already here is suggesting that it is the basically rights on the intellectual property so that is if you have some idea what are the rights on your that idea so here if you talk about the definition it is intellectual property rights are the rights given to the person over the creation of their minds that is their idea for certain period of time so here this point you must have to be know that that certain period of time is indicating that uh, your uh, right on that uh, product or on your idea is not for the indefinite period it is for the definite period and that differ and that differs for as per 
different intellectual properties so here first we will so see that what are the different types of intellectual properties or intellectual property rights so basically there are four types of right patent trademark copyright and trade secret here uh, some uh, people can say no there are other intellectual property rights as we google or as we so on some other youtube channels of course there are some other intellectual property rights also but basically they are the branching emerging emer branch emerging from this rights only so main are this four so first is patent okay uh, we can go to now let's uh, start about the patent so basically what is patent what type of intellectual property right is patent so patent is basically idea about invention if any invention comes in your mind like you can say as i told uh, bulb bulb was the invention of addition so that will comes basically under the patent so patent is an intellectual property rights because that invention is your property and here we are talking about the intellectual property right so patent is an intellectual property right given by the government uh, here we can say by the indian government if we are talking about in the context of india by the government to the inventor who created that which exclude others any other from making using or selling the invention without the permission of that inventor and as i told earlier every ipr has some certain period so for this patent this certain period is 20 years here i will explain that uh, how will you uh, calculate that 20 uh, 20 years so basically 20 years is just like uh, if you got any idea today and you have cleared all st all stages that yes you, your idea is innovative you can go for the commercialization of that you can go for the protection of your idea then you will go and file the patent application in the indian government that is indian uh, which is uh, monitoring by indian patent office or government by indian patent office so you will go and file the application of uh, your patent application now if uh, you are lucky you will get patent like in one year or two years or sometimes three years or sometimes one year so it depends on the how your uh, how innovative is your patents uh, or how uh, ip office is working so like uh, you have filed a patent application in two days date so when you get the right on protection of your that uh, patent your right over that product will be only 20 years and that will be calculated from today only it's not that you get patent after two years it will be calculated from that date no it will be please be clear about this that it will be clear from today only so from today until 20 years that patent that product you have only rights over that but after that it will be open to the public anyone can use the public basically it is done because uh, there are very important or day-to-day -day use inventions uh, which are uh, i mean which are coming in existence in every today in this uh, science and technology so if uh, it will go to the public obviously uh, it will be benefited by this very easily and at the very low cost so here you can see that uh, i have given one random example that you can see that how can you make money from that your patent as i told that you will have much more money even what you have uh, spent on that product so just like if uh, anyone uh, prepared some fermented process like so after getting invention for this product and uh, sorry after getting uh, protection for this uh, invention how will you make money you can go direct for the product development that you can develop your product by yourself and you can sell your money or you can collaboration just like if you don't have a, uh, such a you can say if you don't have enough money to 
for the product development or you don't have facilities to pro uh, product development you can go with the collaboration for other companies other research institutes with some agreement non disclosure agreement and then you can make money after that you can commercialize your product or you can transfer it to i mean technology transfer you can do and you can make money so as i told you here i am giving just introduction of ip also i am giving introduction of patent or other things also for uh, knowing more about these things uh, uh, we will come uh, very soon with our next session so okay now let's come to here so now what is trademark trademark uh, i give example puma and apple so basically that are the trademarks obviously it is the idea of any person of any organization but what it is it is not any invention it is not any product not any process but what is this actually actually it is a logo or it is a word it is it is can be symbol it can be design anything or combination of both like logo and words so that will basically define your product or define your service just like for apple it's a, that uh, apple logo is defining that apple's company products like <coughs> if we talk about the service like uber this uber is defining the service of uber company rights company uber right company so it is basically distinguishing the your goods or your service from other things existing in the market so that is is the your trademark or company's trademark so it can refer to both trademark and service mark as i explained trademark is basically mark for your product and service mark is basically marks for me for your services like uber google facebook fedex here also it can be registered in india uh, yeah and that uh, i told uh, there is certain period of time so it may differ from country to country in india it can be registered for 10 years from the date of filing of an application like i explained for the patent if you are filing a trademark today you will get uh, uh, grant uh, on the registration on for that trademark uh, maybe one after one year or two year or maybe six months eight months anything so you will have right over that trademark from today to till that 10 year but here it can be renewed for indefinite period of time so like apple and puma they are they are very old uh, companies they have very old logo so they are renewing their trademark now what is copyright copyright as we discussed uh, that if you are uh, anyone is writing some stories some poems some books or anyone is making some films so these are basically their works so like uh, if we take example of chetan bhagat so he has uh, written many books and many movies are on this like three years to states and i think you have already seen and already heard about these things so these are basically uh, chetan bhagat has copyright on that plot on that story so copyright is basically it's not invention it's not the logo it is basically rights over your literature works and over your artist works like any painting any book anything so here also it is not for the indefinite period right so it will be basically <coughs> for the certain period that is whole life span of uh, that artist or you can say that uh, who had uh, prepare that movie plots or that story so life is fun here if we take example of the chetan bhagat as we can see in our slide so it will be life is a span of chetan bhagat plus 
60 year after life span so it is basically life span of creator plus 60 years till that time you will have copyright and even after the life span of that uh, creator <coughs> sorry if you get uh, any remuneration on that uh, your who will be your uh, you can say that uh, um, legal representative that will get that money what you are getting from uh, your story or your book or anything your copyrighted products now what is trade secret so everyone uh, who are non vegetarians they have uh, their favorite thing is basically kfc chicken and coke obviously in summer it is uh, the most popular among uh, young generations and among all so you know these products have top secret that is their trade secret for coca cola no one knows that how it is prepared for chicken recipe of the kfc no one knows that how it is prepared because it are there these are their top secret and this top secret is trade secret here i can say that it is also intellectual property because it is a idea of any person for that recipe uh, uh, chicken it obviously it will be idea of any person but there is difference between other intellectual property rights and for the trade secret basically that is that for uh, other ip rights we can get registration for that ip right from the ip office that but in the case of trade uh, trade secret it is not like that here we can you, you can ensure your trade secret by the indian contract act that means you can make non disclosure agreements with whom you are sharing and you can keep it as a top secret so basically trade secrets are confidential information which may be sold or licensed obviously with the making of contract agreement so these are protected without registration for unlimited period of time unless it is discovered or legally acquired by others and disclosed to the public so these were uh, four uh, more main important uh, types of intellectual property rights i think uh, it must be clear to you in short what are these so now as i told that if you have any property that is your intellectual property that is in your mind or your tangible property that is in your hand you will obviously go for the protection of that like uh, if you have uh, i told you have you bought some car obviously you will go for the registration of that like this if you have some intellectual property you will go to the uh, protection for that so this protection can be done on both level national and international level so that's why here i have mentioned ip protection in national and international so now let's see about what are the national protection and what are the international protection obviously i will give just uh, you a uh, just highlight that uh, you can understand uh, that what is the national level of protection what is the international level of pro protection in this session we are going to just give a short brief on that so for the national level of protection first we will talk so national level of products uh, protection is basically the uh, like if we talk about india as we are in india and we are indian so whatever application we file in india only and we get protection over that that is the chain of national legal framework so for national legal framework there are main three pillars you can that you can see that that first is ip office second is external machinery and third is court so ip office ip office is basically governs all administrating and implementation of ip rules that you are going to file your patent application in ip office and then you will get the grant from of your uh, over your patent from the ip office only so that means they are 
administrate administrating uh, ip rules now second is external machinery it's a you can say that it's a very important pillar because some person from the scientific field have knowledge of how he can make any invention but is it have intellectual property value that means it is you know there are many terms and conditions to determine that your what your idea that is uh, that can be patented or that can be not patented so that person must have not idea about these things after uh, going through some books and uh, he can get a overview but he cannot go get the exact idea that his product can be protected or not protected and if it is protected has this commercialization has it commercialization value that it will go to the market and uh, he he will be able to uh, that person will be able to get uh, money whatever he has spent on that or much more money so for these things we have some ip experts like patent agent patent attorney uh, patent associates uh, and other also about the whole filing to the grant process it can be not easily it can be done by any person but it cannot be easily done by any person who is not expert in this field so this is the external machinery which are basically supporting in identifying protecting and maintaining valuable ip so you can say this machinery is basically monitoring and exploiting iprs now third that is the most important also it is about the court like if you have uh, got protection over some your idea and someone is uh, infringing your idea so here you can see how this chain is working you got protection idea from the ip office now if anyone is infringing your uh, how you can what you can say yeah infringing your product the that external machinery that is patent lawyers lawyers or ip experts first they will see that see uh, that uh, if anyone is infringing or not if they are infringing they will give you advice and you can go to the patent lawyers uh, ipr lawyers and then that decision will come through the court so court is basically to protect your rights which is given by the ip office okay so this is basically the national legal framework and uh, uh, it works like this there must be some changes in ip rules and in the court rules that that is the different matter but it works in this manner for over the whole worldwide now there are some laws for in india for the protection of ip like for the patent it is patent act for copyright if there is a copyright act 1957 trade uh, these uh, years are basically when it was started first so the trademark act 1999 the design act as i told there are many others uh, ip also that is from the copyright it's emerging design act also that is uh, uh, separately it was done in 2000 now so and here you can see that no specific act for the trade secret it can be enforced through the indian contract act 1872 by making non-disclosure agreements now uh, we will see a very short about the international legal framework that what is the international uh, legal i mean how can we protect our idea internationally so here you can say there are so many conventions so main convention are paris convention Bond Convention, Trip Specificity, and all of these conventions are basically administered by the WIPO, that is World Intellectual Property Organization. So uh, they basically provide uh, protection over the patent, not for the single country, for the others country also. Here you can say that what is the basic principle of international framework so first is most important that is national treatment in this you can say that uh, each member's national are treated equally as their own nationals like you are filing if you are indian and you are filing your application to the usa through international convent or through international filing system like pct then 
you will treated and i mean all rules will be implemented on you as that rules are implemented on your citizens only also so it will be not like that if you are indian <coughs> sorry rules will be different for you and rules will be different for your citizen it will be same now international legal framework just like rules of trips they have fixed maximum obligations required for any country ip law protection so no one can force any country to give more protections which is already given in trips more protection than the protect uh, than the rules for the protection giving in trips it depends on the nationals they want to give less or they want to give more and third it is applicable to a state versus a state only so if you are uh, just like i told uh, assume you are in uh, filing an application in uh, usa so it's not you personal individual that you are filing in usa and rules are applicable personally to you it is basically a state versus a state as pct india is also member of pct and united states is also member of pct so here usa is following rules because he is the member of pct and india is also member of pct so it is basically india versus usa it is not basically one individual versus usa or one individual versus india so it is totally a state versus a state now at last we talked so much about uh, intellectual property and intellectual property that's why we are talking about this as you said as i told uh, it have a more economical value other values are also so you can say importance of ip or or role of ip so we can go through in very short about this also so first is commercialized commercial exploitation of ip owner if anyone is making any product to die with his idea so this ipr is given so that he can make sufficient money after by making selling or licensing his product his idea now promote innovation obviously if you are if you have made any invention and you get ip or on, on that and you got uh, more than sufficient money uh, so it will encourage you to do more research and more products that will promote innovation so it is uh, ipr is also promoting research and in innovations in country or over world war not economical growth so it will uh, increase in encourage in invest, investment of for research like uh, i am from the non i am from the non scientific uh, background and you are from the scientific background so you are getting uh, you are planning to make anything you have a very good idea but you don't have money and i have money so i will invest my money on you or like some outside from the india person who has also money so he will invest on <coughs> sorry on your money sorry just a minute <coughs> so he will invest money on your idea that will basically increase the economic growth of not your only of india now transfer of technology if your idea is already producted you will be easily transfer your technology to others or other will transfer technology to us so basically it has very important role in the transfer of technology also and obviously cultural development it helps in promotion and development of traditional knowledge there is also it is also intellectual property it is also uh, giving protected being protected by indian patent office so by this if you if someone has some cultural heritage it can be developed and it can be transferred to others also so here uh, today we uh, what we uh, today we went through the ip ipr legal framework how can we protect nationally and internationally and what are the importance of ipr
now this session was all about this for in uh, for uh, more details knowledge about each and every topic we will be coming very soon with uh, our uh, next session so thank you for watching us and if you want to keep uh, updated about these uh, topics please follow us follow itls thank you so much for watching